The clingy part is what you need to be careful of, the, the need to need. He says that if you can healthfully detach from people, and that means anyone, then you're able to love that person fully and you're not trying to change them and you're not trying to get anything out of them. And it's, this is part of the book that really messed with me because, you know, it's, it's something that he says even with your closest loved ones, if you can learn how to separate from them, you can love them even more. And I suppose that ventures onto the plane of what unconditional love must feel like. But this idea of living for nature, life, and or living for your work, or living for, for people, actually also brings me back to Viktor Frankl, who I've spoken about before, who wrote the book Man's Search for Meaning. He was a writer and psychiatrist who actually survived the Holocaust. Actually testing his hypothesis, his theory, his theory of logotherapy, which means living for something, your work, someone, or simply experiencing life the best that you can because it's what you have. And that seems very similar to me to the idea of coming back to nature or to your work or to this healthy detachment and nourishment, not nourishment, healthy detachment and enjoyment of company with those that you love. There's a fullness to be found with certain activities versus this need to grab and hold and cling for dear life. This earthly versus soul desire. What's cool about this is he actually goes on to say, Anthony DeMello, that these earthly desires aren't necessarily bad. I mean, they're, they're gonna be there. It's gonna be a part of you. And that's why the book is called Awareness. He says over and over, awareness, 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 awareness. He says what you are aware of, you are in control of. And what you are not aware of is in control of you.